All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at JDSA Flight Tech, which is being made by forum user Jatwa. And uh, this is actually kind of a weird video for me today, as we're actually going to be looking at three separate mods in one video, which I've never done before, but decided to do because all three of the mods are in the same forum post by Jatwa. They all fall under the JDSA Flight Tech banner, and, well, frankly, each of the mods only has one singular part, so three things in total, and it just made sense to do one video for that. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what those three parts are. So let's grab ourselves a Mark One lens can for size comparison and then turn on our janitor's closet mod filter turning off the squad parts just leaving Jatwa demolition company and JDSA point VTOL engine which from that second uh, name there you can probably guess where our first part is and that is in the engine category where we have the VTOL point engine which isn't exactly the most impressive of models I've seen for a part considering it is basically just a cone with a hole in it, but it is actually quite a useful engine as it is a radially attachable engine. You can put this thing wherever you want on your aircraft and have thrust in that direction. I actually used it earlier today when I kept landing way too fast. I threw a couple of them facing forward on the plane to have some pretty strong reverse thrusters, and it worked out pretty well. Now, of course, from the name, it is sort of meant for VTOL, so you shove a couple of these under your fuselage to get you going upward, but yeah, I mean, it's a radial attached engine. You can put it anywhere. And as for its stats, it does have an alternator producing one electric charge per second, always useful, has a max thrust of 10.3 kilonewtons, stationary thrust of 10 kilonewtons, engine ISP of 6400, and of course uses liquid fuel and air intake like any jet engine and surprisingly for such a small little cone it does actually have eight degrees of vectoring range so a little gimbling control which is always good to have on any engine so overall again not the nicest looking of things but extraordinarily useful again if you need thrust in one direction just put it there and you're good. Now the next two parts, and in fact the last two parts, are down here in utility. And we'll look at uh, this one first as, well frankly, it goes quite nicely with the VTOL engine. As it does of course need air intake being a jet engine. And this liquid fuel cell array can provide for it. Now it is a liquid fuel cell, but it has a few extra little things to it as it does function by using liquid fuel and air intake to produce electric charge, which it'll store in a battery of 300 and also has a built-in air intake with a 0.9 air intake amount down here to actually power it all. And plus, of course, that air intake can be shared with your jet engine here, so no need for some large cone or radial intake or anything like that. You got it right there with your power creation and power storage. It is a little bit nicer of a model with a lot nicer texturing. I do like the vents and everything in there. It is pretty cool and has some fun little details. I especially like what I'm guessing, actually now looking at it from this direction, I'm guessing that thing right there is the air intake and I don't know, that's like the vent outward or something perhaps. But overall, a very good little part, very nice looking and extraordinarily useful. And as you can see, quite small and compact, so can really go wherever you need it on a ship without taking up much space. Now the final part is quite frankly my favorite because, well, on occasion I like exploring the oceans of this beautiful world we have here in the game, and this is the ballast tanks, the all-in-one sinker and I love it. So let's just pop this thing on here and actually zoom out a bit since it is a lot bigger of a part. Now again on this one, not the greatest of modeling and uh, it is basically just a metal cylinder with a little box with switches on it, but uh, once more it is the usability where I love this thing. As it is a functioning ballast tank, you can use it to sink stuff to the bottom of the ocean and that is just cool. Now I know we actually have looked at I think 
two or three other mods that allow you to do that with various mechanics, but I quite like this one as it's very, very simplistic mechanics. You push one button, the ballast tank fills with water, you sink. You push it again, it stops filling. You push another button, it spits the water back out and you start going back to the surface. And that's it. And overall, it will hold 500 liquids inside of it to, you know, serve as that usable ballast tank. And it functions pretty darn well. So let's uh, actually head out and take a look at these things in uh, use, where I have Jebediah waiting in a JDSA flight tech craft over here on the ocean. And we'll take a look at the ballast tank first, I believe, as, well, that's, again, probably my favorite part, and I think one of the more useful ones and yes yeah, so we have ourselves a weird little aircraft here with uh, VTOL jet engines on the bottom some fuel tanks those liquid fuel cells and of course our ballast tanks to for some reason sink this VTOL aircraft underwater so uh, let's just right click on one of the ballast tanks and since I did use symmetry we can just control one and they both will go and yeah, we got a couple of things here. So the first bit at the top is the efficiency and the generator. So if we clicked this button here to start filling the tank with liquid, this efficiency would come on because of course it's going to, you know, use some electricity to run the generator. And as long as we have power, it'll have an efficiency of one and show generator of on. The second efficiency of generator here is for if we've stopped filling and then start emptying. So if we're emptying liquid from the tank, that efficiency should hopefully be one with a generator of on. And again, the buttons here to control it and our tank value to show how much liquid we have in it. Now, I've only been playing around with this for a short amount of time, so pretty much I've only been able to sink all the way to the bottom or float all the way up to the top. And that, though very useful, if you played around with it a bit more, you might actually be able to find some form of equilibrium to keep this thing at a more normal, regular depth in between of the ocean surface and ocean bottom, if you fiddle around with it enough. But for me, I've just been using it to sink things, and you know, hey, you could build a base underwater with this thing. So let's just hit the liquid fill start button, and as you can see, we are filling with water, and our craft is starting to sink. So let's actually just stop it there with now having three liquid in it. And even with just three liquid, we are sinking just very, very slowly. As you can see right there, we are, oh yeah, part of the ship is now underwater. And it basically you control the speed of how fast you sink by how much liquid is inside of this tank. So if we keep filling in more, there we go. We're accelerating our sinking and we can stop it again there. We are gonna continue to sink with this amount of water just at a slower pace. Now we can then click this button to actually start emptying the tank. And at some point, once we empty enough, we will start to go back up. Oh, there we go. We are now heading back up. And let's stop that and actually take in a little bit to slow us down because if we don't, we're actually going to shoot out from the water. Oh god, we're going to shoot out a little bit. Okay, good. We only shot out of the water a tiny amount, so that's good. That's very good. I made the mistake earlier of uh, being halfway to the bottom and then emptying everything and not really paying attention. I jumped about 20 meters in the air, landed, exploded the whole craft. So <laughs> had to reload things so you do kind of have to watch that and kind of control your fill and empty amount as you come back up so you don't go too fast but yeah that's how the ballast tank works you start to fill it you hit that button again it stops you hit this button it empties hit it again the emptying stops and that is all there is to it a pretty useful thing to allow you to sink stuff to the ocean now let's take a look because of course we have used some battery now at our lovely little liquid fuel cell arrays. Now we could turn them on and they will generate a little bit of power, but of course their air intakes, you kind of need to move to get them to be effective. But what the heck, let's turn them on and we should at least get a couple of electric charge out of it before it runs out. Actually, it's running at 100 load. There we go. Oh, no, there we go. We're now at 2.78 load since we're not moving. And yeah, if we actually now throttle up our VTOL engines and of course activate them 
There we go, we're up to 95 output, and we're continuing to charge again. And of course, we're now demonstrating the eight VTOL engines I've got on the bottom of this thing, which are slowly but surely rising us up into the sky. And yeah, that is it. That is the JDSA Flight Tech Mod Parts. Again, three separate mods with three separate downloads, one for the engine, one for the fuel cell, and one for the ballast tanks, but all quite useful and quite fun. So if you'd like to take a look at them for yourself, which I would suggest you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for this episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one, and oh god, I think I'm going to kill Jebediah here in a moment. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, I killed him. Yeah, I killed him. Eh, what do you expect from my flying? Later, folks!